Rip Curl Pro Portugal and an example of the barrels that we've seen here at Super Tubos. Matchup in the water, live action here. Connor Coffin finding a barrel of his own. Chunky wave and goes for the closer maneuver. Complete, so nice start for Connor Coffin. Well, and you can see here, this is a good angle to showcase how deep he gets. Quick first section, in and out. Nice, intense wave. I mean, this is a comparison to what we saw Miguel Pupo's score coming into 3-4-7. Much bigger wave, much more intense drop. You know, he was in and out of it. He was in view the whole time, but the judge is taking note of the criticalness of the wave. 0 0.33 for Colapinto. Oh, look at the opportunity, but that's what I was talking about. Here we go. Take a look at Griff. What's he got for us? Finds the barrel this time, traveling through this cavern. Can he find an exit? And he does. Watch Colapinto moves down the line, bangs it off the top, and a little torque out there, but he stays on top of his board for a completion, and that was a tremendous effort from the young man from San Clemente to climb back into this heat, perhaps the highest single wave score so far. What do you think, Pete? But the positioning, much better. He's able to get into it early from behind it. See that little crease in the section? Sets it up, and right there, he is just driving as fast as he can to get through it. And with Griffin and the ability for him to go above the lip, I love how he's able to finish with the tail chuck. So that's going to be, again, barrel to maneuver. Those are a good combination, especially here at Super Tubos. Although conditions are changing, and anything can happen. So see, he's got to keep that pedal to the metal. Watching this left, nice and clean with that offshore. Just the one move, though, and really wasn't able to get that second maneuver in. On a coffin in the red jersey, now a 5.35. Griffin staying busy. Pulls into a barrel, no exit there, so no grounds gained, no harm, no foul. However, he retain, retains the lead. Yeah, I'm on the west side. You know how quickly I'll get to the north shore if we just go all the way around oh, the then, island? And then the things change. Yeah, yay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Connor Coffin in the barrel and out. So answering back to Griffin Cola Pinto. 5.35 will give him the lead. Nice barrel. Couldn't complete that final maneuver, but I'd love to get a you know, a replay of that, a couple more angles for that effort from Connor Coffin. On well, the takeoff, look at the positioning on the takeoff. That was awesome. Disappears, gets spit out. Comes out a little before the spit. So, I mean, if you're going to look at this angle, this is the one, right? Into it. He's not going to push it too hard. He only has the one number of the 483, so it's important to make sure that he gets a completion. He may not get another opportunity like that. But disappeared. Hey, oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was it's a intense. moment where, like, hey, was there anybody home? Anyone home in there? Oh, yeah, there he is. And Connor Coffin was home. Factor into his surfing and the way he carries himself in life. He is very rhythmic, and during his surfing, you can kind of feel that. You know, it feels like a little Almond Brothers and uh, some Grateful Dead in there. This happened during the break, Pete. That was an effort by Joan Duru. And uh, we'll look at, at the penetration in which you have to have in your barrel. See, so watch, he's getting down there. See that ledge? He airs out. The trick to it is knifing that rail. So it felt like, to me, maybe a bit of a mistake. Paddling, not enough strokes down the face, and definitely not angling the board, because if you can angle that board, your drop is gonna be smooth, like we saw from Connor get. Different swaves, I get that. I understand that that one was a ledgy one. Uh, it's not always easy to, you know, I could sit here and nitpick it all day long here. It didn't look like he got underneath it, and then that last wave that he didn't make. I mean, those were his opportunities to win this heat. Oh. Oh, Joanne just taking gas. You know, uh, Strider, I don't know if it's that easy out there because <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of these guys, and they're the best in the world, not able to make those takeoffs. Hey, it's easy even. to analyze from our couch right here, right? Yeah, well, yeah, that's it's what a we're cozy doing. place, isn't it? Slater, Andy Irons, Bruce Irons, uh, John John Florence, all of them, if you look where their head is, it's about, it never moves up at all. It's always down the face, down the hole, down the wall. Ooh, Connor Coffin just went on that wave. He's not going to help himself, but he did lose his first priority. we got 1 minute 40 seconds remaining. This could be it. On the paddle. And oh. no opportunity for Griffin Cola Pinto. It did look like that wave could have been a quick little barrel or at least an air section. I mean, because he has those weapons. But that wave completely morphed into the sand, turned into a closeout. Yeah, that is going to be it. Connor Coffin moving to round number three. Griffin Colapinto, Joan Duru on to round number two. The action continues here at Super Tubos. Male Rip Curl Pro.